Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of this DIY off-grid storage solar system as I'm waiting on these uh, few parts on these batteries. Uh, I figure I'll make this video. A lot of people have been requesting a video on my entire system to see what I have going on and how I put it together. Um, before I get started, I want to say thank you everybody for liking, subscribing, and sharing these videos. And the reason, again, I'm building these just to help other people out. Maybe uh, get some ideas from these as I got an idea from other YouTubers and forums how to build this system as I've been working on a lot of components over the years. Uh, solar is something new I started last year, uh, but I've done electrical work and a bunch of other stuff. So again, this is DIY, um, just for informational purpose only. And if you are going to build something or trying to put something together, again, do your research, make sure you're comfortable working with those situations and uh, follow through with it and uh, you know start small and uh, work your way up to uh, a bigger system. So heart of this operation is Solark. Um, went through a few inverters. Um, that's why you see a bit of wiring mess. I'm not set on this yet. Um, I'm, so far I'm set on it. I really like the way it does. The other systems I had, uh, they were done nicely with gutters and you know proper wire conduit, but uh, I end up taking them apart and I just don't like wasting material. Um, and the wiring and the money to you know keep switching to a different inverters so at this point it's proper gauge wires everything is set i just need to finish out the conduit work so the reason i went with the solar i can do detailed videos on these objects if you uh, on each each of the systems i have uh, why i went with um, what i have if you guys want a more in-depth uh, i'm just going to do a quick overview with this one uh, so the reason I picked Solar, it, it does great. It do, it's a whole house system. And uh, with that, it's a 15K and 15K, you know, worth of inverting power or 12 and a half for solar. Uh, but you can have up to uh, 19 and a half, if I'm not correct, um, of uh, DC coupled solar and same amount AC coupled solar. And uh, it takes a 48 volt batteries. The other systems I had, uh, they also took 48 volt batteries. So I went with this um, and I really like it. It's very stable. It's been here for a while now and um, I'll finish the wiring up. So it, it's, it's all in one, uh, like the name said, limitless. I mean, you can pretty much do anything with it. And the nice thing, you can stack them out if you need more power. And for this house, um, pretty much everything we run is off grid with this. Uh, it is a grid tie system, um, not for selling back, but uh, grid as my backup. So in case I do need extra power, um, it can substitute from the grid uh, if the solar or the battery is not there. And uh, that's why the, you know, the, the 100 kilowatts of battery is sitting here because um, we try to be off grid. But uh, our consumption is high. As I said, the whole house is off grid. Um, and we have two electric cars. Uh, one is a Chevy Volt, uh, it uses about 10, 15 kilowatts a day. The second one is a uh, Rivian. My driving is a lot more and it's not as efficient. Uh, still efficient than a gas truck, but it's not as efficient. Uh, so it uses about 30, 40, maybe more kilowatts, depends on how much driving I do. So my typical day is about 100 plus miles a day drive. Um, so this is what the heart of the operation, this is what runs everything. So it's got three strings coming in. Um, so it's got two 5,500 watt strings and one 6,500 watt string, solar strings coming in. Uh, there, and it's, uh, right now I'm just running DC couple. Uh, it does have capability of smart load, which I, which I do use uh, if the battery's hit 80%. So there's a lot of features that really attracted me to this compared to the other brands. Uh, I looked at like a Victron, Chandler, it's just a lot of piece together system. With this, you get everything at once. I mean, you got the breakers in there, you got AC, you can directly wire to it. Um, it can pretty much run your whole house. So that is what that is. And uh, I'll show you my PV setup. Um, sorry for the shaky video a bit. Uh, I'll be walking over the yard as we live here in the middle of nowhere kind of situation. Um, here's uh, the first array, uh, it's uh, two strings, uh, 12 kilowatt total, so I have two strings coming out of this. One is uh, 5500 watt on your left here and one is 65 on the right here. So the way these are wired, these are 480 watt panels. Um, I got them from a, a leftover project. Uh, so these, this whole thing 
was built in mind of having a solar. Um, it was built a long time ago. I wanted to uh, build a pool house and we also needed a greenhouse. Uh, and this is also recycled from the house as we uh, upgraded the windows, doors and things. Um, as you probably already figured out if you watched my previous video, I tried to recycle or we tried to recycle as much we can. So the top string, the, the left string, there's two six panels. Uh, a set of six and they're connected together in series and then parallel into one string and then on the right here is two seven sets and they're again connected in series to parallel and that goes into the house follows the route uh, in here um, and the other set I have for the panel uh, if you notice the pool I have a really uh, unique system uh, filtering and um, not using any chemicals so I'll be posting a video on that if you guys are interested uh, um, put in the comments below and the second set is there yes that's uh, a fence uh, we were looking into doing a fence uh, the, the fence was rotted and uh, me and the wife didn't want to do a wood fence we were looked at aluminum and other type of fence and it was quite expensive and uh, and again the fence doesn't do anything other than you know give you a safety which is what you need the fence for so we decided to go with solar panels and I found these. These are ENN panels, they're older technology. Uh, you can almost see through with them. Uh, so it gives you privacy at the same time, gives you safety and it's just not sitting there, it's there generating. So they're not optimal, um, they, but they still generate electricity. So this whole system, including this, um, so this carport here and combined with the fence, it's about 5,500 watts and they're 48 panels, only uh, about 115 watts each. And the, like I said before, the reason I went with these, these are low condition, low light panels, and they generate regardless of what the conditions are outside. So even in a cloudy day, you know, barely any sun out, they'll generate. And I have this facing uh, east as I catch the early morning sun. And I needed this place to park my tractor and uh, boat and other equipment under here. So I just needed a shade. And instead of having a roof under it, uh, and then put in solar panel, I decided to go with this route. And that is the whole reason uh, we built that. So it's, it stays cooler. Uh, the panel, as the, you know, everybody knows, they, the sun hits it, they heat up. So the more airflow in the back you have, the better production they do. So that's the reason behind this. And the fence, the same situation. Um, it's just, I don't, and, and it's all mounted with super strut. Um, so I'll give you a, a tour on this. If you wanted a detailed video, let me know how I, um, in the comment below. I'll um, make a detail how I built this structure or even if um, you wanted to know how I built that structure. And again, that structure, the pool house is also built with no roof um, because I wanted airflow for a better efficiency. So the total output, it's gonna be a gorgeous day today. Uh, that's Potomac River, by the way, if you're interested. Um, the whole system together is a uh, 17 and a half kilowatt uh, managed by Solark. Um, and uh, with that, uh, uh, most days I don't get a sun here uh, until uh, east side I get a sun on this array, but the other array that's 12 kilowatt, I don't get sun until 1, 1 30 in the afternoon. So with both of these facing different directions, I'm able to do with a decent sunny day anywhere from 60 to 75 kilowatts a day, which covers the house and charging. Um, I'm just walking around giving you a view of the actual roof. Take me a second. Uh, the other thing, I, the reason I really like this one, it's got a, a modern look to it and uh, it looks pretty neat. I wish I had a drone. I can't fly out of here. Um, so I can give you a, a wider look from the top but it's, it's pretty shiny, like a glass roof, um, you know, commercial style, I guess. Uh, so that's kind of what it looks like. On the front, I have the same panel. So all together, 48 panels. Uh, it's a three in series, 16 in parallel, and that becomes about 5,500 watts. And with this setup, we're able to run everything. And that is the reason we decided to go with that. And um, hopefully, They'll help somebody out, gives a, a different look on the way of using solar panel, not just, you know, using it on the roof and, uh, you know, um, not have to have an optimal condition for these things. If you have a place where you can utilize and not being able to use the optimal condition, but still producing something, 
it makes a great tent. So on that note, if you like this kind of video, if you want more detail, please like, subscribe and share. And I will post updates as I uh, finish my battery project. Again, thank you and have a great day.